title of the work is really descriptive in a sense because it really is broken dance being driven by beatboxes. That you have two projections that are facing each other. One projection has two beatboxes that both give 10 minute performances. On the opposite wall of the space is uh, three dancers who also uh, give you know, 10 minute dance pieces. But uh, it becomes a little bit more complicated because they all give 10 minute performances but they also provide two 10 minute sessions. One is a sort of ambient session, one is a very uh, sort of, I don't know, vigorous dynamic session. So the whole piece ends up being 80 minutes worth of video in simultaneous uh, screens. There's also two very small paintings opposite each other. So the whole room is set up like a cruciform. The idea of the project is to have these videos that are synced, like completely in sync with, uh, with each other. And the way that I did that was I recorded the music through the beatboxes in the studio. And then that music was then played to the dancers in real time within their space. And so when I, when I synchronized the, the soundtrack, that's, that was those two worlds coming together. Even though the beatboxers had recorded the music many days before the dancers got to hear it, um, that they're really locked into exactly the same time. Which is interesting if you really look at the dancer and hear the music and you see that it takes them a few milliseconds to respond. Of course they have these standard moves, you know, and, and I was thinking about jazz, having like a, a jazz standard which is an ambient structure where they can keep falling back into these ways of moving but um, that, that is never a set pattern and, and clearly the beatboxes that I, were, I, I, was, I was working with, I asked them to do other things like just breathe or experiment with noises that weren't so defined as beats. So um, the dancers also had this problem on their hands. It was a creative problem of how to dance to the sound of breathing. I guess the, the movement that I'm exploring in this piece is specifically like urban uh, related dance. So all of these dance forms that have taken place in the last few decades that really come from the street. They're not really dance forms that have an academy or an institution, although there's a lot of like classes and workshops and whatever. They're, they're almost like rogue forms. Breakdancing is, is probably the one that people can identify with the most, but there are a few forms of dance represented in this video like crumping and whacking which is uh, that's sort of getting to where beatboxing is now in terms of the um, popularity of that particular form. What I'm interested in is really the human body you know in in its kind of environment and how it responds to that space but also how it transforms space itself so for the last 10 years whether it's been through skateboarding or whatever extreme sport uh, and including break dancing and other kinds of dancing I really am interested in this relationship that the body has to its environment. The locations in, in this project are all shot in London the dancers are all in urban spots that um, seemed appropriate they're in sort of underground spaces that are quiet, you know, at night or even sometimes during the day, so it's perfect for dancing. Um, they're all covered in graffiti, which I love because that's another element of hip-hop culture that is all it's connected to the dancing and the beatboxing. Yeah, and I really love this idea that the spaces were in, you know, these areas that I think a lot of town planners call lops, you know, leftover in, in planning. They're kind of like archways in ro uh, overhead rollways or... Um, you know, the corners of garage spaces that never really found a function. Or the, These are the spaces that I love to see uh, people inhabit or creatively engage with. Uh, they're almost like these little forgotten places in the city. I do, do like the idea that there is this relationship between the two videos. And if people are interested in seeing both of those videos, there are moments in the in the work where you will be able to see that they are connected, that those two worlds are happening in, in unison. Um, and that's not easy when there's downtime. If people actually dance in the space, that is like, that would be incredible. They have the opportunity to get in there and, and have a jump around. That would probably be the ultimate response, I think.